In this video, we provide the solution to question number two for the practice final exam for Math 1050. The graph of a function f is provided here on the screen, and we're asked to identify where is this function increasing. We'll notice that if we look at the very left of the graph, there seems to be some type of horizontal asymptote as x goes towards negative infinity. It seems to be approaching y equals 1. Um, and so as we move to the left here, we see the graph is getting bigger, 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 bigger until it approaches some uh, vertical asymptote at the y-axis. All of that picture, all that, all the left side of the left y-axis here is the graph's increasing, so we're not going to include that. Um, so then at x equals 0, there appears to be uh, well, the y-intercept is y equals 1, and then it continues to increase until we hit x equals 2. All right. Uh, so notice that when x equals 2, the function does appear to be decreasing until it hits x equals 4, and then after 4, it continues to decrease until x equals 7. Um, the, what about the point 4 itself? Um, it does appear that at the point x equals 4, the graph levels off to about a flat level there um, at that point of inflection where it switched from concave upward to concave downward. And there, there's some other inflection points, of course, along the way as well. Uh, but the significance of the x-intercept 4 is that the function does level off. So at 4, it's neither increasing nor, nor decreasing because the graph is flat. But otherwise, from 2 to 7, the function would be decreasing. So that gives us the correct answer as D. It's decreasing to 2 to 4 and 4 to 7. We exclude 4 because it leveled off um, to have basically a slope of 0 at that point.